Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing you got some love. Y'all, we gonna get right to it. I love the note of fig. Who doesn't love the note of fig? I don't like eating figs. You know, I tasted green figs, the purple figs, like all of them. It's just the outside texture of the fig that I really don't like, but I do like the taste of the fig. I do not like the texture. So yes, I do love fig and fragrances. I love most fruits and fragrances. Even though I really don't like papaya, I love the way papaya smells and fragrances, even though I don't eat guava. Um, you know, I love the way guava, actually I've tried a guava, but it's not something that I would pick up in the store. Um, I love the way guava smells and fragrances. So juicy ethereal fresh airy a little earthy all of that so we're going to be talking about some of my favorite fig fragrances in my collection um two i have samples of the others are full bottles and y'all let's get to it so please like comment subscribe turn on those notification bells so that every time i do upload a video you can give me your feedback comment recommendation all that good stuff uh, we have so much fun on instagram i love doing the reels the lives you know adding a little bit of my music to it as well i'm a music lover um if you didn't know leave me your favorite freak fig fragrance down in the comments i know a lot of people like velocicos by uh diptyque i think it is um i've smelled that one as well but you know it's giving me fresh green very earthy uh bright fig and i do really like that fragrance but i have a lot of different ones that we're going to be talking about today so um the very first one we're going to talk about uh, everybody knows and everybody loves, and this is no other than BDK's Gris Charnel, and we're going to talk about the two at the same time. So this was my favorite fig fragrance. I think this is number two right now, uh, maybe even number three, but number, number two, okay? But I love it because of the note of tea in here. Uh, it's so amazing. BDK, um, fig, cardamom, black tea, vanilla, loads of sandalwood in this one. You have some vetiver in this one uh, for that bright and that freshness. But y'all, this fragrance is absolutely amazing. The Automizer is beautiful. Like, I love it. It's a little fresh, green, earthy. It's a little fuzzy, you know, silky at the same time. And then you have the x straight, which is absolutely amazing as well. But the x straight is giving you a little more sandalwood. It's woody. It's actually giving you a little more vanilla, a little more, it's more dry than the original um, EDP. But I love them both. You get more vanilla in this one. You get more fresh fig and tea in this fragrance. Um, you get more vanilla in this one. Sorry, I was um, pointing to my hand. More vanilla, more woodiness, a little more earthiness, drier. And then you get a little more freshness because of the vetiver, uh, a little more tea in this, vanilla, and just fresh fig in this one, you guys. You know? Yeah, I absolutely love them both. And like I said, um, this is like my number two fig fragrance at the moment. But I'm in love with Gris Charnel. And you guys know that this is a lifer for me um, and will always be, okay, most likely in my top 10 masterpiece fragrance. Um, I think I did put this in my masterpiece edition, you guys. Love them both, y'all. But... Um, I suggest this one for the most part, um, for, for starters, you guys, all right? Or maybe if you're a man, you're going to love more of the woodier, heavier uh, sandalwood in this Gris Charnel. All right, the next one we're going to talk about is one that is new to my fragrance collection. And I saw my boo talk about this fragrance. You guys know who my boo is over here. Um... This is Lavalier by YSL. I wore this for two days and I got so many compliments on this fragrance. So I love the note of fig, so I had to get my nose on this. And when I um, heard that this had rose in here, oh, you guys, my boo Sebastian, if you didn't know. <laughs> 
you guys. He doesn't know he's my boo, but he's my boo, okay? Um, yeah, and I already know somebody made a comment on the last one. Oh, do you know he doesn't like? Yeah, but anyway, I'm pretty sure he'll love me just as, you know, just as well. Um, anyway, Sebastian, if you're out there, yes, you are my boo, okay? And I'm not a stalker. I just absolutely love him. Um, so just his swag, you know, all of that, the way that he speaks, his expressions, you know, all of that. The gray, the beard, the glasses, the hats, y'all. <laughs> I love Sebastian, um, and not that he even talks about perfume, but that's just the icing on the cake, okay? Anyway, Lavalier is beautiful. Um, he spoke of this a couple weeks ago uh, when I saw it, YSL. It's a beautiful black currant in here. That's what gets me. It's the black currant, the rose, the geranium. I think there's a little bit of violet in here as well um, on top of the fresh fig. It's a little powdery, rosy, figgy, slightly green in the opening but as it dries down about maybe like 15 minutes later it gets a little more earthy fresh a little more zesty but then it this fragrance is completely transitional but then it dries down to a very fresh sophisticated airy slightly sweetened yet rosy fig the rose you get more in the opening the sweetness you get more in the opening and then it becomes neutral and about within about 30 minutes like 15 minutes into it you get that zesty fresh fig y'all um i love this fragrance lavalier by YSL or Lavalier by YSL. Um, it's French, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's stunning and I love this fragrance. If you love the note of fig rose, this one to me is more of a feminine leaning fig fragrance and that's why I had to pick it up because a lot of the fig fragrances that I have here today are absolutely unisex, you guys. Um, get your nose on this one. It's stunning and I absolutely, I love it, you guys. I love, love, love. Mm, I love this stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and spray it so you can see the automizer, but I'm going to spray it on me. The automizer is like a shower. I don't want to spray. Oops. And it has a magnetic top. Okay. But it's good. You get that powdery, figgy, earthy, slightly green scent in here with the sweetness from the black currant. You know, it's like the black currant and the leaf at the same time, you guys. Anyway, it's beautiful. Magnetic, magnetic top. I love the bottle. All right, I'm not picking up the top, okay? All right, so the next one that has a fig leaf inside, uh, but it smells like there's fig and fig leaf inside. You guys know I am obsessed with Ouverture by Zerjoff. This is beautiful, very tropical, creamy, warm, spicy, fresh. You got that elongy long with that sandalwood and that cinnamon and the orange, y'all. Stunning big fragrance. Love it. Get your nose on it. Amazing for summer nights. This warms up on your body in the heat. It's very tropical. Gives a little bit of a coconut-esque type scent as well. Um, especially when you wear this and you wear it in the summertime, you guys. You can layer this with Bora Bora. This would be absolutely amazing layered with Bora Bora. I am going to do that. I just thought about that. Uh, but yeah, Bora Bora with Ouverture is stun will be stunning, okay? Um, I just smell it. I smell it already, you guys. Get your nose on Ouverture. Amazing. Like I said, it doesn't list the note of fig, but it smells figgy and it smells like fig leaf as well, you guys. Beautiful. Definitely unisex, okay? The next one is my number one, okay? I've been wearing this fragrance. Well, I've worn it uh, three or four times this year and it's intoxicating. I will link the review for this house down below. Um, I met, I, I reviewed this fragrance house back last summer, back in July, I think, of 2022. One of my most favorite uh, finds of 2022, and this is Mano Gerakini's. Um, it's Mio X is here, but it's pronounced Methesis. Uh, Methesis is absolutely stunning. It's alluring. It's decadent. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Um, it's for the gourmand lover, if you like fig, y'all. 
I've had this for almost a year. My juice has gotten a little dark. Um, it's absolutely beautiful and I love it. The honey note in here, if you don't like honey, then you're not gonna love this fragrance. But if you love honey, then you will love this fragrance. The rich honey in here, the black currant, the earthy green fig, you know, it's decadent. I think there's a rose in here as well. There's cacao in here, like a dusty, really airy, fresh cacao. Um, this fragrance is gorgeous, you guys. Get your nose on it. Ugh, it's beautiful. Methesis, like I said, you gotta love a note of honey. Um, slightly animalic, you know, it smells like fresh honey, fresh organic honey. You're just pulling from a beehive, okay? Um, there's nothing synthetic about this fragrance. I love it. Longevity is beast, 10 to 12 hours, um, and that is on your skin, okay? It's beautiful. Methesis by the House of Mono Garakinis. I love all of his fragrances. Like I said, I will link my review, my house review down below. Um, he has another one out called Citrine. Um, I might see if I can get a sample of that one and maybe I'll do an updated house review, you guys. Get your nose on this. All right, the next one we have is Angel Au Cossier. Um, It's beautiful, fresh, tropical, amazing for the summer. There's fig, praline, magnolia, which makes it a little floral and airy. It almost smells like there's pineapple or coconut in here as well. Uh, but this is a beautiful fig fragrance, very fresh and airy, light. So if you don't, I don't know if this is discontinued, you guys. Um, so this is more of a light, airy, juicy fig fragrance. Um, so it's beautiful. And this is Angel Au Cossier by Mugler. Angel Au Cossier by Mugler. Now this fig fragrance is intoxicating and it's definitely alluring. Alluring fig by Theodorus Calatinis, okay? Um, beautiful, I love Theodorus Calatinis. I love Monogata Kitties, love them both. Beautiful individuals. Um, this is gorgeous with a little bit of sweetness from the vanilla cream. So like, oh y'all, this is so, so good. So, so good. Um, anyway, you get the fig in here. It smells like a fresh, green, earthy fig um, in the dewy mornings. It's juicy. It's watery. You get a little bit of that. Yeah, this is the most realistic. This and Santal Greenery that we're going to discuss are the most realistic fig fragrances. Um, that is pure fig, okay? Pure fig drizzled with like some vanilla cream, you guys beautiful intoxicating you get that tartness from that almost like a bitterness from the leafy the fig leaf in here that i absolutely love y'all it's gorgeous it almost smells like a fig tea you know with some vanilla inside this is amazing you guys amazing one of my favorite fig fragrances i'll let i'll do my favorite three um towards the end if i don't forget okay anyway beautiful alluring fig get your nose on them on it um the next one is ao by the house of floraiku absolutely love ao in here this is like a warm spicy earthy fresh fig with a little bit of a uh, citruses from the orange or mandarin or actually it's tangerine I love this fragrance. It's beautiful. Um, this one's definitely unisex, not masculine leaning, but unisex straight up and down the middle. You have your myrrh for that warm to make that fig a little more warm, spicy, and the tonka more warm, spicy, a little creamy as well. You got your tangerine in here. You got some beautiful fig, myrrh, tonka, and I think there is some violet in here as well to give it a little bit of like powderiness, slightly sweetened as well but not a heavy violet you guys it just it just makes it more ethereal and beautiful um anyway i love this ao get your nose on it i actually have this on makari because i have not worn it i think i've only worn it twice um the entire full body i've smelled it a couple times the entire time that i've had it uh but i absolutely love ao this is my second favorite Floraiku fragrance aside from one umbrella for two. Get your nose on AO by DMX, okay? By DMX. <laughs> Um, the next one is Dries Van Noten, and I have a sample of this. I contemplated buying this, and I'm still thinking about it. Um, this is Santal Greenery. Um, it's powdery. It's earthy. It's fresh. It's beautiful. It's warm, spicy. There's some florals in here. It's creamy. I think there's milk in here as well. Uh, but yeah, it's creamy. You know, it gives you that lactonic 
fig with a little bit of, it almost smells a little gourmand as it transitions on your skin, more in the dry down about, I would say, from what I remember about maybe like 20 minutes later. Uh, but I love Santal Greenery. The performance is beast. Um, definitely unisex, slightly sweetened, but I love this one, y'all. Santal Greenery, get your nose on it. This one is just a sample. They sell these samples, I think, at Saks or Bergdorf or um, someplace like that, y'all. Uh, but y'all, yeah, get a sample, okay? This is not a safe blind buy because it is bright, it is fresh, it is zesty, all of that. Um, the next one, oh, uh, did we talk about, we talked about BDK Grease Chanel already. Yes, we did. Um, the next one I have a sample kit of, and this is a uh, Lorenzo Pazalia. It is called Adam and Eve's Dress. Adam and Eve's dress is beautiful. You have jasmine, you have tuberose in here. You have a milk note in this fragrance as well. Um, it's a little lactonic. It's very transitional, okay? You have a very zesty, bright, fresh, warm, spicy note of fig in the opening. And y'all, it is beautiful. I contemplated getting this fragrance before I got uh, Van Ecstasy and Vampire Rum and even Cherry Ink. You know, I was looking at it when I got Cherry Ink, but I I decided to get this, the Discovery set before I bought the fragrance, but I absolutely love Adam and Eve's dress. Um, I don't know, y'all. It may be coming at a later date, but I love it because I love the note of fig in there, and it it just gives you more. It gives you more of that jasmine and tuberose. It is very um, enriching, and it's very transitional and very upscale, like an upscale fig fragrance, and I absolutely, I love it, you know? Um, and it gives you that zesty, fresh earthiness from the fig as well, you guys, and slight sweetness as well. Anyway, get your nose on these. The samples look like this. They're pretty small. I think they're 2 mLs um, in Lorenzo's, Lorenzo's Pazalia, Lorenzo Pazaglia uh, Discovery Kit. I ordered this from the house. Um, anyway, that is it. Go on to the world. Spread amazing. See you Do good. Be good. All of that. And y'all, let me know what your favorite fig fragrance is down below. Um, I know, like I said, there's Velocicos that I have smelled. And there's a couple other ones that I have smelled as well. Uh, but these are my favorites, you guys, okay? Um, anyway, love you all. Go on to the world. Spread amazing. See you Do good. Be good. All of that. And uh, get your nose on these thick fragrances, y'all. Bye-bye.